Hey, my name is Brian with MSA. Uh, thanks for letting me uh, come show you our new product. Um, for the next uh, 10 to 15 minutes, I'm going to talk about um, the, uh, the G1 SCBA. This is the brand new uh, platform of SCBA from MSA. Um, it's actually our, our largest R&D investment in our 100-year anniversary at MSA in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So it's, uh, it's been a long, ongoing process, almost about a seven-year project that we've actually just went public about a year ago. Uh, we went public with it, as well as our certification from NFPA. And so we've had about a, a year um, as far as our deliveries have gone, and uh, we've done really, really well. So I, I, I want to go over the, uh, the product uh, really brief and kind of just hit some of the high points and, some of the, and really where this product is, is going to be going over the next several years. Um, this whole project really started off with the face piece. Uh, you guys are all familiar with the, uh, the Ultra Relief face piece uh, the MSA has had for, uh, for close to 20 years. It just reached its 20 year anniversary. And so it's really been time to move on from the Ultra Elite face piece. And so this project really started off with we need a new face piece. So the number one goal for the face piece was to remove all electronics and remove batteries from the face piece. And that's really what we did. On, our, uh, on the G1 face piece, there's not going to be any electronics. There's not going to be any batteries. We've reduced the weight by about one pound as well as about two inches from the profile. And really most important about the face piece is the cost savings. We've actually shut, uh, cut off about $700 off individual face pieces. Um, so you're looking at about a couple hundred bucks versus about, about almost $1,000 per face piece. And really how we did that was there's no expensive brackets, there's no electronics, and there's no batteries. Um, also, we are going to have an APR adapter. So you can get one mask, one fit test with multiple applications. So with the APR adapter, it'll allow you to use a, a, a cartridge as well as a papper down the road. So how we uh, accomplish some of the electronic features of the, of the SCB-8 without any electronics on the face piece um, is re really down here at the bottom. If you look at the bottom of the face piece, we've got uh, multiple channels on each side. We call those light pipes. So you actually the electronics are going to come from the regulator, shine through the light pipes, and then that all your lights are going to come on the dashboards. Uh, this is where you're going to get your heads-up display, as well as other, other icons to let you know what's going on with the SCBA, as far as battery life, as far as evacuation symbols, uh, as far as even a, even a thermal alarm. And also, one nice feature is, there's no, since there's no bracket, there's no amplifier on the face piece. So what we've done is we've got the microphone built into the regulator that is now going to come out, now mounted to the, uh, your shoulder straps. And also, the, uh, the G1 SCBA is already... Uh, enabled to connect via Bluetooth to the, uh, the new Motorola APX series radios. So th th that's already uh, done. It's already been delivering as we speak. Um, if you have the Motorola APX 5000 to the 8000 series radios, these are already ready to uh, Bluetooth uh, and communicate there. And, and another one of our challenges was batteries. Right now, in the past, we've always had multiple battery locations and multiple battery styles. Um, one of the missions of this project was to have one battery in one location that powers the entire SCBA. So you're going to have two different options for your battery. You're going to have an alkaline C cell, or you're also going to have a lithium ion rechargeable battery. And that battery is actually going to be located one location and one battery type, just for ease of operation, and just make it nice and simple. So once the battery comes out, you can replace your C cells, or you can use lithium ion battery, and that's just going to plug right back in. And now it's ready to go. It's going to come on real quick. And then also looking at my control module, it does have an auto activation. It's a uh, multiple color on the display, really nice bright green, yellow, and a red as you go through the air pressure. It's very flexible, and it's completely customizable with the new AT software that comes with the G1. Here's a, a, a nice slide that gives you uh, just some more icons on what's going on with the, uh, in the control module. As you can see, we, we are going to have a 360 kind of a visual communication. Um, you're going to have buddy lights in the back, as well as lights that correspond with the, up the, uh, in the control module. And there you can see on the far left, it's going to go, as you deplete the air pressure, it's going to go from green, yellow, and then red. And that's going to work with the buddy lights in the back, as well as a light on the regulator. So that really gives us a 360 visual communication so looking at the fire ground, you're going to have your green, your yellow, and your red. It's going to give, the, uh, give you guys an idea of what's going on as far as air. It gives you a good idea what the, bat, what the lights look like in the back. 
as well as on the regulator. And then one thing we've also done, in a, in a critical situation, the most important part of the SCBA is the universal rescue connection. So when the, uh, when the SCBA does go into a low air alarm warning, you're also going to have a, a white LED shining right on the, right on the URC. So in a bad situation, uh, we've got a spotlight on that most important part of the SCBA. And then one thing we've really tried to do is try to consolidate the pneumatics. So uh, right now you've got the audio alarm, you've got a first stage regulator. What we've done is we've combined everything into one, one component. So here you've got the URC, you've got your first stage regulator, as well as the audio alarm bell, all, all in the one component that's really, really simple to work on, just like all of our previous uh, pneumatic components have been. Another big focus for the G1 has been our uh, ergonomics to make this thing more comfortable. Um, SCBA aren't getting any lighter, and so we're trying to do everything we can to make it mo more comfortable on your back. We have done that by removing a lot of the weight from the face piece. But as far as the ergonomics go, we have made quite a bit of improvements. We have some new materials that are on the uh, shoulder straps to really keep them where they, uh, where they should be. We're still always going to have an option for your, for your chest strap. And then we also have added uh, an adjustable lumbar pad. So you're going to have three different spots to adjust your lumbar pad. So based on your height, I'm 5'9", probably an average height, I'd be right in the middle. When you get on shift based on your height, you want to put it to a 1, 2, or a 3, just for the uh, maximum ergonomic and for comfort. And there's a good example of just how it's designed to fit multiple body styles. This is our low-profile cylinder, which is a, it's a little bit of a longer cylinder, and uh, it, it does sit nice and low in the weight on your lumbar versus your shoulders. The SCBA is also going to come with a 15-year warranty. This is an industry first. That's going to cover the pneumatics, it's going to cover the, uh, the cylinders as well as the electronics. So 15 years on your electronics, which includes your amplifier, the power module, as well as the control module. So 15 years, that's an industry first. We've done about six, seven years of R&D, so we're very proud of this product, and we are, uh, we're very confident with the product, hence the 15-year warranty. So the big question is, is this is built for the future, so what's really next for the G1 SCBA? Um, we do have a prototype uh, out in the, uh, in the main room that I'd love to show you guys. What it's going to be is integrated TIC within the, uh, within the SCBA. The control module does turn into a thermal imaging camera if the department decides to do so. We're still a couple years away. We do have a prototype out there, and this is just some, uh, just some basic pictures that show you how that works. This is quite a bit more flexible, which allows for the TIC. So as you move the TIC, you're going to get a, your thermal screen right on the control module. And, uh, and that's all I got. Uh, come, come take a closer look. Um, outside here. And then one more thing I do want to show you guys is that we are going to also go with a Quick Connect. I forgot to have this in my slideshow here, but we are going to have a Quick Connect option now. So the exact same cylinder that we've had, we've had in service for a long time. With an adapter, you also will have the Quick Connect option. Okay? Thank you. <laughs>